next type of pudding I'll talk about which is pulong. It's semi-fermented. Um, semi-fermented means that they bruise the leaves a little bit to expose the oils of the fat and then it reacts to the oxygen in the air and it gives it that flavor. So the a green tea doesn't do that. They don't bruise it at all. The white tea, they don't touch it at all. They just dry it. The oolong tea, they mix it partially. And then the black tea, they just go for it. Because it's, it's the most common thing. Because they want the caffeine. I just put a teaspoon in there and oolong usually grow into leaves. So a lot of people are tempted to put a lot more because it's quite easy. It depends on the tea that you're making. Generally with green tea, a cup, like a mug, is a teaspoon. I, uh, if you're brewing it in a I would probably not just And with all longs, it's slightly different because the longer you leave them, the better they taste. So the best proof of long is the second So what I would normally do when I'm at work is I would make one cup in the morning and then I would just top it up with water all throughout the afternoon. And I can take I can taste the flavor change the more I use it. So you can see that the leaves are now opening. Uh, in a few minutes, that will be like 15 minutes. So don't, don't put a lot. Uh, a lot of people 